Hello and welcome to Viral History. Today we're in sunny Chelmsford uh, with Graham and Ali of Rex Factor fame. We're going to put you guys to the ultimate test in our viral history big history quiz. So the rules are quite simple, 20 questions. Um, you can confer and answer together and we'll score you one point per question. Good luck. Okay. Which arm and which eye did Nelson lose in service? He's got nothing of his portrait. I feel like he's got his left, left. tucked I, in. I was instinctively going to go left. He can't all be one-sided. Should we go left arm, right leg? That was a good design. <laughs> like... Left is completely right-sided. I reckon it's left and left. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right and right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wrong and wrong. Who is believed to have had a vocabulary of 32,000 words? Shakespeare. He's the interesting vocabulary person. So, <laughs> let's say Shakespeare. Correct. Oh, yes. Back in the game. <laughs> a large number of these, 17,000, were dropped into enemy-occupied territory to assist in the war effort during World War II. What were they? Or could it be like leaflets, like propaganda leaflets? Could be. Weapons for the resistance, I feel like that wouldn't have been as many as them. Yeah. Thousand. Yeah. Spies? Dropped in. That's, That's a lot, a lot of, spies, of spies, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the population of Calais just all talking to each other or something. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm, I'm I'd be happy with leaflets as an answer, so would you feel? Yeah. Very not. But it's incorrect, I'm oh. afraid. It was carrier pigeons. Oh, oh. oh. good fact. Yeah. They don't need to drop the pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Which prime minister got the raspberry? I reckon it'll be a Victorian time, age of like science and splicing different varieties together, that sort of thing. Yeah, Victorian. Do you know your raspberries? You're the garden. Oh, you're never going to raspberry. A palmerston sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Palmerston <laughs> uh, sounds like what well, sounds like a veg fruit. Yeah, pick a Victorian prime minister. A Disraeli. It could be a Disraeli. Oh, yeah, a Disraeli. nice Disraeli raspberry, please. It was Lloyd George. Oh, oh I should know Lloyd George. Where can you see Lord Elgin's marbles? British Museum. British Museum. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> What animal chased thousands of Scots families from their homes during the Highland clearances in the 18th and 19th centuries? Animal. It would be sheep. Making room for sheep, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sheep. Sheep. Correct. Yes. Good thinking. Yes. <laughs> Do very well. <laughs> That's it. Which English cathedral has the tallest spire? It's like Ely has very tall. It's like a. Doesn't. Well, it has the octagon instead. Yeah. Uh, None of them. What's Salisbury like? Oh, Salisbury very similar to Lincoln. Is spiky one? Oh no, we've got a decision to make. <laughs> well, I was unfamiliar with the storm, mm. so that sounds like it's no longer. Yeah. So let's go Salisbury then. Correct. Oh. Yes. High <laughs> five. Brilliant. Who built the Great Western, the Great Eastern, and the Great Britain? <laughs> we did a special episode on him. Isn't that and Bruno? <laughs> Correct. Who was the first king to be styled formally with a number under his name? Hmm. Deploying the Graham on this one. My, I tricky because they do give names uh, numbers to some of the Saxons, but I'm not sure if they that was just done retrospectively. So I'm tempted mm. to say William Rufus, William the Second. Oh yeah, I'll agree with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll agree with that. Um, Incorrect. Apparently, Henry VIII. Oh. So says Penguin oh. Big Book of Quizzes. Wow. They didn't quizzes actually use the numbers until... Quiz books are available. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. To which clan did Rob Roy belong to? Oh. Bruce? I was going to say, like, McGregor maybe or something? I don't know. I don't know. Same with McGregor. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> 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 What did Romans use a hippocaust for? Uh, horse racing. Horse racing. <laughs> Eating their villas? <laughs> Hippodrome! <laughs> oh, but hippos oh. is horse, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. Honest. Which city did the ancient Greeks, by legend, besiege for 20 years? 
Troy. Troy. Correct. Name Henry VIII's fifth wife. Catherine Howard. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Which king received an arrow in the eye? Bonus points if you can name the battle. Uh, do you do one, I'll do the other. So it's yeah. uh, Harold. The second. Harold Govinson. Govinson at Battle of Hastings. Correct. Yes. <laughs> An act of 1864 outlawed children from doing which job? Chimney, Chimney sweeps. Sweeping. Yeah. Chimney sweep. Yeah. Which ship sank off the coast of Portsmouth in 1545? Mary Rose. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. What material was used to make a famous bridge in Shropshire in 1779, a town now being named after it? Iron. Iron. Yeah, Iron Bridge. Correct. Boom. Hold on. What famous structure was built on Salisbury Plain in the third millennium BC? Stonehenge. Yeah. Stonehenge. Correct. Which suffragette was killed after running out in front of King George V's racehorse at the Epsom Derby? Emily Davison. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I was definitely <laughs> going to go with Pankhurst. Oh, well, no. Who was Emily Pankhurst then? Uh, she was the suffragette yeah. leader. Right, OK. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, more no. than one suffragette. <laughs> <laughs> the suffragette. Yes. Yeah. Right. With which queen is the phrase, we are not amused, connected? Your favourite. Victoria, isn't it? <laughs> She's not amused about anything. <laughs> Correct. So I think you, you did pretty well there. Not, not oh, bad. Please. I think you should be proud of that. So I'd like to present you with... <laughs> you should be very proud to receive this. The Viral History oh, Quiz ooh, Trophy. Lovely. You can add that to your silverware cabinet. That. Brilliant. Yes. That is, we should put that on our laptop when we record. Yeah. Have that oh, there. Just all, <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. So thanks so much for having us and being our first ever contestants on the Viral History Quiz, which is going to go viral, oh, clearly. Um, so yeah, we're going to post all the details of Ali and Graham's podcast, Rex Factor, on the video. Uh, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And that's everything from me today. It's all from me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.